Hi, math students. It's Mr. Hatch Gasson here, and today we're going to learn about 3D Pythagoras. Now, um, to successfully do anything in relation to 3D Pythagoras, we need to be able to recall Pythagoras' theorem. And that is for any right angle triangle, so this is my right angle triangle, um, a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared with A and B being the shorter sides and C being the hypotenuse, the longest side. So this side is A, this side is B, and the longest side is C. Now, it doesn't actually really matter which way around you label sides A and B. However, side C is always the longest side. So we could have a situation where this side is B and this side is A. So A and B, it doesn't matter how you label them, it's C that needs to be labeled as the hypotenuse. And that's the side opposite the right angle. So let's get straight into this then. Um, and what we're going to do is have a look at an animation that will make Pi 3D Pythagoras um, more easily to understand. So if we have a look at this animation over here. So it says work out the exact length of AG. So AG is this red distance uh, over here. Now, if we just rotate this cuboid, hopefully we can see the diagonal distance. Now, to be able to work out the distance of AG, what we need to do is to create uh, more triangles. And that will help us work out this distance over here. Now to do that, what we need to recognize is that we have a right angle triangle that has been created over here. And I can show this like that. So this is our triangle that's created. And if I rotate this again, hopefully we can see this triangle a bit more clearer. So essentially what we need to work out the distance of AG is the distance of AC. However, that distance has not been given to us, but hopefully you should be able to recognize that we have a triangle that's formed at the base of our cuboid and that triangle is over here. So the purple triangle. And now using Pythagoras' theorem, we can work out the distance of AC. So we said, a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared, where c is the longest side, the side opposite the right angle. So ac is our longest side, it's our hypotenuse. So what we need to do is 3 squared plus 7 squared is equal to c squared. Therefore, c is equal to, we have to take the square root of both sides to get rid of this uh, power of two or to do the inverse of squaring is to square root. So three squared, if we take the square root of three squared plus seven squared, what that will give us is C is equal to nine plus 49 is going to be root 58. And we can leave our answer in third form. And I'm just going to double check that with my calculator. And that will give us uh, 7.615. But to ensure we get an accurate answer, we can just leave our answer in third form for now. So this distance here, AC is equal to root 58. So this distance over here is equal to root 58. Now, again, I can apply Pythagoras to work out the distance of AG because in effect, I have a triangle that looks something like this, where the base is root 58, and this height is going to be four centimeters. So once again, if I apply Pythagoras' theorem, I will be able to work out this side here, and that's side AG. So if I just rub out what I've done over here and use a different color pen, what we need to do is four squared plus root 58 squared is equal to c squared. Therefore, c is equal to 
the square root of four squared. And in fact, I will simplify this this time. So that's going to be four squared is 16 plus root 58 squared is simply going to be 58. So C is equal to root um, 60, 74. So AG is equal to root 74. And we can again leave our answer in third form, or if the question says, give your answer to three significant figures, root 74 is equal to 8.602. 8.602. So our answer uh, to three significant figures would be 8.60. And if we just double check that, what we get is root 74, which is 8.60 uh, to three significant figures. So once again, I will just rotate this so you can see how the triangles are formed. There's a triangle formed at the base. That will help us work out the distance of AC. And once we've got the distance of AC, that will help us to see the second triangle, the red triangle, which will help us work out the length of AG. All right, so let's do some exam style questions. Uh, so if I go back to this presentation. So here's our first question. Um, so we have a cuboid. It says calculate the length of AG. So quite similar to the example we just did um, in the previous question. So to be able to work out the length of AG, first we have to recognize that a triangle is formed over here. And then we need to start labeling our cuboid, although actually it's been labeled in this instance. So we know that AE is three, AB is five, and BC is seven. So how do we go about doing this? So we need the distance of AG. So if we know two sides, we will, be, we will be able to work out the length of AG. And in this case, GC is going to be equal to EA. So GC is going to be three centimeters. So the other side that I need to know is this base over here. And I can work that out because what we have is a triangle formed at the base of our cuboid. And therefore, we can work out the distance of AC. Um, so I will call the distance of AC simply C because we have A and B. So the longest side is C. So using Pythagoras, I know A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Therefore, 5 squared plus 7 squared is equal to C squared. C is therefore equal to the square root of 25 plus 49. C is therefore equal to root um, 60 and again 74 uh, in this case. So C is equal to root 74. And I'm just going to leave my answer in third form, um, which will help me uh, be more accurate when I work out the distance of AG. Now, once again here, I have a triangle. So if we do root 74, I'll just use a different color pen, squared plus three squared is equal to AG squared, but rather than saying AG squared, I'll just say C squared. And therefore C is equal to, and I will just simplify this. So root 74 squared is simply 74 and three squared is nine. So C is equal to the square roots of 83. And that is our answer. Um, and again, it says, give your answer to three significant figures. So root 83 is going to be equal to 9.11. And I should write 9.11 centimeters. And that is our answer. All right, let's try another example, slightly more difficult. So here it says, work out the length of A, 
D. So that's this length over here. So where is our starting point? First, we need to start labeling the sides that we've been given. So AB is five centimeters. So that's this distance over here is five centimeters. Uh, AE is six centimeters. So this height over here is six centimeters. And AG is 12 centimeters. So this diagonal distance here is going to be 12 centimeters. So how do I work out the length of AD? Well, I can hopefully, and I will use a different color pen, create some triangles. So what I need to do effectively, because uh, if we have a look, we know the distance of DC. DC is going to be equal to AB. So DC is five centimeters. So over here, what I have at the base is a triangle where I know one of the sides. If I know the, this side here, so if I know AC, if I know the hypotenuse, I can then use Pythagoras. As long as I have two sides, in a right angle triangle, I can always find a third side uh, by using Pythagoras. So we need to be able to work out this distance over here, the distance of AC. And to do that, what I can do is apply Pythagoras to the triangle that's created over here. Now I also know GC is going to be equal to EA. So this is going to be six centimeters. Now, I have a right angle triangle with the longest side being 12 centimeters and one of the shortest sides being six centimeters and we can call this X or C. Uh, well, actually, no, sorry, it's not C in this case. Uh, so we will just call it X or we could call it B. And in fact, maybe B is better because it will create less confusion when we uh, use Pythagoras' formula. So what I know is a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. So a is going to be 6 squared plus b squared is equal to 12 squared. And therefore, b squared is equal to 12 squared minus 6 squared. And b is therefore equal to root um, 144 minus 36. B is therefore equal to root 108. And again, I can write my answer in um, third form. So this distance, the distance of AC is going to be root 108. And again, notice that I did all of this by creating a triangle over here, which I've gone over in black now. So the triangle that's created in black, we knew that the distance of AG is 12, that's given to us in the question. This is going to be six centimeters because GC is equal to EA. And then by knowing two sides, I can work out the third side. Now I need to work out the distance of AD. That's what the question asks of me. So if I just rub this out, if I just rub this out, we should hopefully be able to see that this distance AD is one of the shorter sides. So we can think about this triangle as looking something like this, where the hypotenuse, so the side opposite the right angle is root 108. And this distance here, so one of the shorter sides is going to be five centimeters. So once again, applying Pythagoras' theorem, a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. So five squared plus b squared is equal to root 108 squared. And this is going to be equal to b squared is equal to root 108 squared. That just becomes 108. And five squared will become uh, 25. So B squared is equal to 108 minus 
25. B is therefore equal to root 108 minus 25. And that's going to give us root 83. So B is equal to root 83. So the distance of AD is equal to root 83. And root 83, so we can use our calculator to work this out, will give us 9.1104. They want the answer to three significant figures, so that's simply going to be 9.11. So AD is equal to 9.11 centimeters. Right, moving on to a more complicated example. So now we have a square base pyramid. Uh, F is the midpoint of CD. AD is six centimeters and CE is 10 centimeters. Calculate the length of BD. So we want this diagonal length over here. Now, because we have a square base pyramid, this angle over there is a right angle. So what we have is effectively a right angle triangle. So remember the base is a square, even though it might not look it, but this is a square base pyramid. So this angle over there is a right angle. And if this side, if AD is six, BA is also going to be six centimeters because a square has uh, equal length of sides. So if we apply Pythagoras, what we get is six squared plus six squared is equal to this side over here. So the longest side C squared. So C is equal to root 72. And I got root 72 because six squared is 36. So 36 plus 36 is 72. And then to isolate C, we have to take the square root of both sides, therefore getting root 72. Two. So BD is going to be root 72. And likewise, if BD is root 72, AC is also going to be the same distance, which is root 72. So BD is equal to root 72. Now, what we have, it says calculate the length of E. F. So EF, and I'm just going to rub out the drawings that I've done so far. So that distance over there. Now, what we can do is draw a perpendicular line at the center. So that perpendicular line is going to create a right angle. And now what we have is a right angle triangle that's formed. So what we need to do is work out the distance of EF. Now I know AD is six centimeters. So this center point here, the midpoint is going to be three centimeters. That's halfway um, along the width of our square. And I also need to know this height over here. Now to work out this height, I can create another triangle. And that's going to be this triangle over here. Now, if this length is 10 centimeters, this length, is also going to be 10. So if EC is 10, EA is also 10. And notice here, we said BD is root 72. So BD, this distance is root 72. And BD is equal to AC. And this midpoint here to A, that's going to be half of AC. So if AC is root 72, from the center to A, that's going to be root 72 divided by two over two. So now I have two uh, length of sides. I can work out the height 
of our triangle over here. So applying Pythagoras' theorem, so if I just rub all of this out, so I will use the pink pen, what we'll have is root 72 over 2 squared plus this height over here, so we'll call that plus b squared is equal to 10 squared. b squared is therefore equal to 10 squared minus root 72 over 2 squared. b is therefore equal to square root of 10 squared minus root 72 over 2 squared. And if I type this into my calculator, I should get, so 10 squared minus um, root 72 over 2 squared. And that will give us root 82. So B is equal to root 82. So I'm just going to rub this out. And when I say B is equal to root 82, B is in reference to the midpoint here. So I can call this, uh, let's say, G. So the distance of E to G, which is root 82. Now that I know this height, life becomes a lot more easier for us. So we want to work out the distance of EF. So essentially what we have is a triangle with one length of side being 82, the other length of side being three, and now we can apply Pythagoras again. So a squared root 82 squared plus three squared is equal to c squared. Uh, root 82 is going to be simply 82 plus nine is equal to c squared, but I will then have to take the square root of both sides. So C is equal to root 91. And that's going to be our answer. It doesn't specify how we need to give our answer, so we can actually leave our answer in third form. But just to double check, root 91 is equal to 9.53. So you can either say root 91 or 9. 0.54 actually to three significant figures. Right, boys and girls, I hope you found this useful. It is a little bit of a tricky topic, this, uh, purely because you have to be very good at visualizing the triangles that are formed. But as you are dealing with 3D shapes, just try and visualize where the triangles can be formed, uh, whether you're dealing with a square based pyramid or a cuboid. Thank you for listening and I wish you all the best. Bye.